Hello, my name is Bria. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to your trampoline workout. This is for beginners. If you've never been on a trampoline or a rebounder, you're in for a treat. You wanna make sure you look eyes down. Look at your trampoline when you're stepping on and off so that you don't miss a step. So you wanna step up onto your trampoline, start with the feet parallel, maybe a little wider than your hips, maybe hip distance. See what feels good to you. Bend your knees, press the weight down through your heels. You wanna pull your abdominals in, roll the shoulders back and down, and then start to rebound. So your bounce goes down. It's a down bounce. Some people call it a basic bounce or home base. You wanna bounce down and down. Arms are optional. You can let them swing, you can press, or maybe whatever the instructor gives you, you'll move your arms. But you always wanna keep the knees bent. Tight core, pressing the weight down through your heels, and then you start to pick the feet up if you feel good. If not, you can always just press those heels down at first just to get the muscles working, just to feel comfortable. If you don't have a handlebar, keep the core tight to help you balance. The bounce begins down, down. Good, pressing down into your trampoline. Knees are bent. Pressing the shoulders down away from your ears so you don't tense up in your upper body. And then you can start to move and add on from here. So you can take the feet open and close, staying nice and low. You never want to straighten those legs. Keep the soft bend in your knees so the blood is flowing through the legs. You can make that a jumping jack or just take the arms out to the side. Just getting comfortable. You can always slow it down if you need to. Breathing the entire time. That's really important. Breathe, you wanna stay low, like you're under a low ceiling. So try not to come up, stay nice and low, lifting those legs, your quadriceps, hamstrings, even your glutes, squeezing tight. You can try to switch, tapping the heels forward, heel taps or heel switches, pressing the shoulders down, letting the arms swing, or you can always just tap if you need to take out and eliminate that bounce for a second. Pressing the heel forward just to get used to it. And then the foot that's back, that heel is pressing down into your trampoline as well. So you can add the bounce, switches, knees are bent. Breathing, smiling always helps. <laughs> Try to forget you're working out, just make it fun. You can bring the legs together like you have one leg. Down bounce, squeeze the inner thighs, zip the legs together. Hands to prayer. You can twist, twisting from your obliques, fire up that core. Again, you don't have to jump. You can just press the heels down and down or you can add that small jump and twist. Firing up that core. You can get more fancy, add the weights later, and add on more difficult combos. But to start, you wanna just feel comfortable. You wanna feel like your weight is centered, like you can switch quickly from right to left. So down bounce is your friend. Whenever you need a break, home base. Come to your down bounce, staying low, pressing those heels down, down. Arms can swing. Breathe, and you're just getting that heart rate up. You can make the bounce more intense when you're ready. That also depends on the tension that's in your trampoline. So you can get into bungee cord tension if you want it more tight, more loose, and then that will determine how fast you can bounce, or maybe slower, and you might dip a little lower if your bands are loose. I hope that helps. Happy bouncing. See you in my other videos.